Lots of viewers have asked exactly how I make my videos. Well, to be honest, it's not too terribly difficult. Just a few simple programs and we're on our way. So here's a quick view on the programs I use to make top videos. <laughs> 3DS Max. With this program, I create personal 3D animations. These include game characters, levels, props, and rotating text. This program allows the creation of many different objects. I mainly create props and levels, but at times will animate personal characters for animations. While it isn't used much, when I do use it, I can save any render as a movie clip. Be aware though, higher quality renders produce longer load times, so a minute animation could last for something up to 17 or more hours depending on the computer memory. Text Allowed this program is what I use to create XJ's voice. It's a free program and allows any word to be repeated and saved via WAV file. While at times a program will incorrectly say the name wrong, it will allow you to come up with ridiculous and hilarious names just in order for it to say it right. Hypercam Yes, it's relatively old, but it's the only freeware screen that works pretty well. I'm sure by the end of this, you lot will be bombarded me with loads of freeware screen capture links. Well, this program is simple and allows you to choose any particular area of the screen you want to capture. It's pretty decent and I've not had much problems, save for windows sometimes being transparent when they shouldn't be. Adobe Photoshop This program definitely comes in handy when using custom thumbnails for YouTube. Like any standard art program, Photoshop comes with many handy tools and tricks to make really interesting work. Adobe Photoshop also works with pen tablets, so creating work got that much more easier. To this day, I still use this handy program for most art-related videos. Audacity Audacity allows me to record my narrations as well as edit other people's. The program also allows me to add effects such as amplifying the track and adding bass boosts or removing static noises. Audacity is actually very important to me as when I record game character voices from my Xbox 360, I connect the cables directly to the PC via line in audio. This allows me to record straight to Audacity's recording software, allowing me to adjust particular parts of the clip. While it isn't perfect, Audacity tends to not favour well in other audio formats and will on occasion crash at recording time frames up to 8 minutes. Keep vid and save from .net. Well, not technically programs, KeepVid is a website that allows me to take YouTube videos and download them. This handy website allows different file types and screen qualities. The website can be slightly buggy at times, but it's still an easy to use system. By right clicking the URL above the YouTube page and pasting the link into the KeepVid website, file links will become active for download. Savefrom.net is very similar to KeepVid, be it more reliable if you're having Java problems accessing KeepVid. This handles in exactly the same way by pasting the link and saving it into the appropriate formats. Source Filmmaker Source Filmmaker is a Steam program I use to animate video game characters at the start of most of my videos. By popular request, most of the animations are usually silly and vary in terms of what the video is about. Getting to grips with the program first time around is usually extremely difficult as there's no help line. People familiar with basic 3D programming will quickly come to grips with what is on offer here. This handy program will allow you to place video game characters from all sorts of games and weapons and props and adjust them into the maps from other locales. It even allows you to adjust ridiculous facial animation and eye movement. Great care is needed though to create some fluid animation. This program is especially fun to use and while many have complained about the intros at the start of the video, I enjoy making them and for many others they enjoy it too. And it's what makes this channel completely unique when it comes to top videos. It's stunning how many people think the light moves faster through expensive fiber optic cables than it does through cheap ones. Sony Vegas This handy program is what I use to make and produce all my videos. The program is very simple to use for anyone who has already had great experience for using basic video editing software. Similar in terms of Adobe Premiere, Vegas includes great video effects like Starburst and TV Simulator. Not only can you insert almost all video types, but it actually comes with unlimited video and audio tracks. When it comes to multiple videos and lots of effects, this is where Sony Vegas falls short of being amazing. It does have some technical problems like sudden crashes, projects corrupting or not saving files, but the it's still a very, very great product to have and definitely one for any video auditing software out there.